this is what I got. I got an eight door evaporator. I don't think the evaporator, nothing's running. Here no fans. Wait a minute, I hear fans in there. No fans in there. I think this all one let's jump over here 40 well 38 50 This one attached? No, this one's not attached to it. Well, hmm. Okay, I'm not sure where the controls are at.
control. Let me figure out if that one over there has another electrical box and that one would be on its own. This one would be by itself. Now we got another electrical box up here. Don't know. focus on right there. I gotta go down on my relay. So my three is right here. Okay, so I have power going up on this blue, which comes back on don't know what. Power on my blue, which comes off here, which I have 120 volts there, and then out of there it runs up to clicks on for fan delay and comes back to number number six. Clicks on on the fan delay, so I gotta take all this product out. Damn it. Alright, so those things are toast, but my unit's not running. So that's why we gotta get the unit running first. I'm thinking my coil is frozen and it's not that's not why it's not closing so we're gonna get on the roof I don't know 
I got a bunch of condensers on the roof and I can't remember which one's which, but my old rusty trusty here is not running and I think 408 zero zone so that's what I'm working on northeast wall I think this is my I think this is my guy uh, let's see let's see I think this is my guy right here. Ah shit, she ain't got no, no power anywhere. Let me see. Let me get this thing apart. That's telling me it blew a breaker in the back. But why did it blow a breaker? Disconnect really works. Spent twenty minutes. Looking for, looking for the darn power for this thing. Finally found it up front. Jeez, oh geez.
let this thing run a little bit and see what happens, but... Go downstairs, see if these bat fans are running. I had a fan termination down here in the coil. I'm not making. So for right now, this weekend, I'm just jumping the termination out. And we are down to 20 within about 15 minutes. So the refrigeration side is working. So I'm gonna come back up here on Monday, check the heaters and new fan termination. Well, that sucks on a Saturday. But I think we got a defrost problem. I think one of the heaters are probably, uh, probably bad. We'll find out here probably, 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 probably in a few hours because I told her, I go, well, if it goes, if you start to see it warm up again. It's probably, uh, it probably tripped the breaker. If it tripped the breaker, it's probably the defrost on it. But for sure, that fan switch was bad because I had a minus eight coil. That thing was frosting up, so it should have terminated. It should have, uh, those fans should have came on. So, but what I did for the time being is I just wired the fans hot. It's, because I didn't have I didn't have a, a termination on the truck. I don't usually carry too many refrigeration parts, besides pressure controls, motors, and other than that, it's just it's just a pain in the butt tracking it down. You know, I, you know you're looking at why why the fan's not coming on until you get the the bottom open and realize, hey, it's not even the refrigeration's not even on. Plus, it disconnects bad. I had a disconnect turned all turned off all the way and start that thing up downstairs. And I'm thinking, oh, I'll get on the roof and flip the disconnect. No, it was already on, and the thing was off. So that disconnect has got to be uh, replaced. So the disconnect's got to be replaced. The fan termination and. I think there's some other terminations in there too that are just rotted and busted away so I think it's all got to be done so that's it for this Saturday call this little Saturday adventure in a little food store in the north and I don't know where I'm going next hopefully nowhere because it's Saturday alright guys you know what you need to do like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one